Hi, it's great to be back with you today. Hello, great to be, be here. Yes, um, we were just talking before coming on screen here mm -hmm. and just saying, you know, that we wanted to continue what we talked about last week and we spoke about let's add to our faith. Mm -hmm. Yes, Faith Bite with Anthony and Cheryl from Faith Five Fellowship of Ministries. And so we just really want to continue on what we spoke about last week for the next possibly seven minutes. And in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 11, there are some characteristics that Peter was encouraging the church right. to add to their faith. Yes, we become born again by faith, by believing that Jesus Christ came and he died and he rose again. And yes, that we are now sons and daughters of God. But there needs to be an adding, a growing in, in ourselves. We now have a spiritual DNA that we need to grow up in. That's right. And so in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 11, you know, it, they were just talking about different stuff. And I'm just going to read some parts of it. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him. And Peter continues to talk to them. And then he gets down to verse um, five. And he says, in view of all of this that we, we just talked about, make every effort to respond to God's promises. When you begin to read the word, you are going to be working out your salvation with fear and trembling. So you're going to be adding things to your life. And so I'm just going to read it and turn it over to you. Is that good? Yes, sounds good to me. All right. Yes. So he says here, supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence and moral excellence with knowledge. There's an adding that's happening. And to knowledge, you're going to add some self-control and self-control with patient endurance and pick to patient endurance. Mm -hmm. You're going to add godliness and to godliness, brotherly affection and to brotherly affection, love for everyone. There's an adding of these particular characteristics that's going to put us in good stead for us to grow up and to mature in that which God has called us to. As we get to know him, right? right? You see, it's a building of our spiritual character. Wow. It is the maturing of our spiritual man. Yes. So that we can go to the full statue mm. that what God has already preordained for you and I. Yes. We need to be able to can think more of what the spirit man is developing than the physical man. Mm. We need to understand that when you're born again, the spirit in the spiritual package is everything. But your character, yes, sir. Your, your inner person that people can see is the one that is going to sustain you later on. When I found out the scientific fact that every baby girl that is born in this planet has all the eggs that she will ever need from the moment she's birthed into, into this world. The inner inner womb of every baby girl. Mm -hmm. So she does not develop new eggs as she grows up. Wow. She does not become, even in teens, Eggs come to her. Everything that she needs as a female is already there, but she has to grow. And develop. And develop, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, mm -hmm. all of it psychologically, so that when she becomes a mother, mm -hmm. she's already gone through a period where her body and her mind and emotion are ready now, not only to bring for a child, but to nurture the child and sustain the grace that is on that child. So when you're born again and you're coming to the Spirit of God, God has given you everything that you need pertaining to life and godliness. Through and your knowledge. Through the knowledge. So you need to grow to know Him. It's That's there. Right. It's in the spiritual DNA. Now you might think that you don't have it. You might think that I don't yeah. have any sense. I don't have that kind of strength. I am not this. But God has put it into you before you can determine that you don't have it. Wow. So when you're saying, I don't have patience for children, it's in you, but it has to be developed. Well, I don't have the understanding, but it's in you. So God puts them in the package, mm -hmm. everything in your spirit, man. 
Salvation is more than just confessing Jesus Christ as Lord. It's more than getting baptized. It's more than joining the church. It's more than exercising your spiritual gift. It's coming into full maturity Growing of what up. it is. Growing up. See, so much of us are so ignorant of the fact that God is putting into your spirit man. And your spirit man now will be able now to let this thing begin to come mm -hmm. in. And grow no. into your natural man. Yeah, because we say we are born of the spirit. We have the seed mm -hmm. now of righteousness in us. That seed has got to grow That's into right. a fruit. The fruit of the spirit. Because we are born of the spirit. Are we getting it? We now, gotta grow up. It's life situations that are going to expose the level of your maturity. Wow. But your confessions. So God, not the devil... But God will allow each of us as we grow to begin to be exposed to areas of life that will demand what's already on the inside of you to come out. Up and out. So you don't pray for patience. You don't pray for endurance. You don't pray for stamina because they are there in your spirit, man. And when you pray, what's happening is that what's already inside of you is yes. coming up. Yes. When God created man, he did not start a creation again to create woman because she was already in him. Ouch. So when God does a finished work, the finished work means it's there. You cannot get more faith, but you can grow in faith. Amen. You can't get more salvation, but you grow in salvation. That is so It's true. in your package. Yeah. We really need to grow up. And so as we close today, dear brothers and sisters, you need to work hard to prove that you are really among those who has been called and chosen. Do these things and you will never fall away. All right. Keep growing. So Paul says you've got to put some effort into this. Work at it. I'm talking about mentally taking it before captive, mentally bringing your whole body, mentally and emotionally bringing these things on alignment with the Holy Spirit. And then oh, as you exercise yourself yes. into godliness, yes. we will come to the full maturity of man. Amen. And in that maturity, Amen. you can be able to express the will of God for your life with a maturity about it. So Father, we thank you today that we had time yes. again with those that stopped by to listen. Mm -hmm. We pray, Father, that yes, there they would have received yes, from your spirit. Yes, we Lord. are only the conduits yes, of what you're wanting to communicate Hallelujah. to those that would have a hear to mm -hmm. hear what the Spirit of God is saying right now, yeah. that there needs to be yes, an Lord. exercising of the faith Hallelujah. with an addition mm -hmm. of these characteristics. Take us again to the Word. Take us again to the life experiences, Father, and cause us to hear Hallelujah. you and respond to what you are saying to Amen. us in obedience. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you again next week. Amen. Blessings to you. Yes.